Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carmen Estella, and today we are doing another mukbang. Um, we've got here, my baby's in the background. He will, we will be discussing some things. Uh, lobster tails, You each of us get two, but um, two of them I messed up. So it's just lost lobster tail uh, pieces. And then um, shrimp, a bunch of shrimp. And then we got asparagus, mushroom, um, pasta. He wanted bow tie, and I got um, thin the thin spaghetti. So angel hair, Carmen. Angel hair, the angel hair. Oh, I forget. Today I got a little bit of a truly mixed with um, Cadillac margarita. Don't don't ask. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let me know what you think about the Alfredo, babe, because I made it on my own. I didn't even have to use the one that we had. Okay. I got it from, uh, what's the YouTuber? Oh, shoot. I'm going to put his name um, on there. Everyone was following him in the way he did it. So this is like his recipe, except I didn't have like a di uh, one of the um, seasonings. It's like a seasoning that another YouTuber came out with. I'm like, dang, y'all doing it big over here. So you got one whole lobster tail. I got one whole lobster tail, and then the rest are just pieces. You want some green onion? I'll get some. All right, y'all. Let me give y'all first bite. Go ahead, take a bite. There's a big lobster right there. Okay. Is it really hot? No, it's, it's cool down now. Okay, cool. It's good though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I didn't need that um package of Alfredo, huh? Mm -mm. And guess what? I'm never buying packaged Alfredo ever again. <laughs> Cause it was so easy. Butter, cream cheese, whipping cream. You gotta know your seasonings. Um, and Parmesan. Mm. Mm -hmm. I could do it without the broccoli though. It gets in the way. Yeah, but it's a good way to incorporate your veggies. See how I tricked it in there? What about the asparagus? You tried the asparagus yet? We got asparagus, broccoli, mushrooms. We got everything in here, y'all. <clears throat> and you know what's crazy? I didn't even watch the press conference today. Like, we wasn't even thinking about it. No. Cause I would love to see what he had to say, for real. I would love. He was gonna blame it on the Democrats. Why the bill, the uh, the money got denied. But you know what? The reporters are real petty. The reporters are real petty, Tommy. I'm sure they asked, like, why was it yesterday that you told us that we were gonna be okay? Da da da. Well, Tuesday was supposed to be the big day, but. Trump, it, tomorrow, Trump, yeah, tomorrow yeah. gonna be the big day. But we, or maybe he'll talk tomorrow. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I haven't checked the news today, y'all. Leave it in the comments if y'all checked it or watched him speak. Mm. I just think it's real sad how like, yesterday he was literally talking about. I'm not trying to have them buy all their stock and then go sell another one. Like, he was really sitting there lying in our faces. Yep, and snuck it in there. All right, so the Senate, how many people are in the Senate? Uh, it's just representatives, so I don't know. Of exactly. like each state, right? Yeah, but it, it, it's, it's not like 50 people are in there like mm -hmm, that. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people can't even come out the house. But So they're the ones that pick for each state and they all have to vote. Mm -hmm. On the bill, they get passed. All right, so President Wright. Mm, okay. And he wanted to get, he, it was a trillion dollar bill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
and it was a bailout for the Americans. You know, everybody did X amount of dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he wrote in there bailouts for major companies in Wall Street. But the day but before... But still, the money for us to get it, right? Yeah, but the day before, he didn't want to bail out certain industries because they'd get the money, like Wall Street, they, they'd get the money, pump it back in, companies would do good, and a lot of people get bonuses behind it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he really didn't want to do it that way, but he wanted to help out like the airlines and, and the carnival cruises and stuff like that. Right. He was saying one thing, but really wanted a whole nother thing. He wanted to bail out Wall Street 100% and people get bonuses and all that shit, you know, his friends make money and all that shit. He'd be a good president. He'd yeah. get another term. Yeah. He told yeah. us one thing, but still passed the bill. Right, right. And guess what? <clears throat> they stopped that shit. Yeah, Democrats vote that shit down. Like, no, yeah. we don't want to bail out Wall Street like that. Yeah. Because then that just is going to fuck up the economy even more. In the long run. Mm -hmm. Talking about we're going to come back. We're going to be the strongest ever. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like... Oh, but you just said you watched the documentary. Because I was gonna I was gonna be like, you know what? Like he been acting real cool lately. I've been seeing a whole bunch of memes, like, don't talk about my president. Like, look, he about to send us some money, but no. really a thousand dollars ain't much. Especially it's people like us that like this mortgage, car insurance, like yeah. electricity, like we paid a whole nine. A thousand better is better than zero though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's put that out there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh It's just, it's, it's just nasty behavior across the board. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And he should do it in stages. If he wants to help out Wall Street and all that, take care of the Americans first. Let's, yeah. Let's make sure they got some cash so, you know, we don't start rioting and, and and anarchy going on and they have to, you know, call the military in and shit like that. But do you think that... It they feel some type of way, like the millionaires, like Cardi B's and them. Do you no, feel no. like he think that they're going to go buy stock and that's why he want to make sure that they're good? No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with celebrities to me, in my mind, the mm -mm. way I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's just a recovery thing. But he got to make sure Americans first. He could he could have meetings on the phone with, with all those corporations. Like he talked to CEOs every day. I talk to CEOs. I talk to CEOs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell them, hey, I'm going to write a bill later for y'all. But let, let's get the Americans let's get, cool. Let's yeah. let, you know. Let's get them a couple of dollars for about you know thirty or sixty days. Then I'm gonna write another bill, even though they get their money. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bail y'all out. But he trying to do it all in one go. Like you can't do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. I think that what I think is that they were trying to come with come up with an agreement, and they said you know um you know you okay send the people the money, but at the same time you got to help us too. Uh, what do you mean? Like the rich, uh, he was talking to Wall Street and the rich people. Like they're like, okay, cool, you know, send send the people the money, but at the yeah. same time, you got to help us out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because people with that money, they're gonna be buying shit. They're gonna be buying food. They're gonna be buying little shit, ordering shit online, and and that and you know that's company stock. That's where that's where the stock come in at. Because people are making money right now. Companies are making I money. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm other well, companies want to get in if Americans got a little little money in their pockets, but you can't think like that. Can I have, have one? I mean, yeah, they, you can't think like that. Tell me, what companies are really making money except the grocery stores? The shit, the the Apple, Netflix. Even though they shut down all their stores too, Apple. No, I'm talking about the the streaming service. Oh, streaming. Okay. When people are buying movies, renting shit online. Mm, Anything you can do online for the house. Go out to the grocery stores and buy the Perels. Uh Yeah, them for sure. The liquor companies sure. is going to start making hand sanitizer. They're going to be making money. Yeah. Even though I think the liquor com uh, industry is making good money right now, too. Yeah, People are stressing. But imagine you can go get some Jack Daniels and Jack Daniels hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, they want, some, they want part piece of the cake, too. Mm-hmm. And then now they're uh, Tesla and, and, and Chevy and them are making... Um, Ventilators too. Yeah, we're gonna start making them. Yeah, they're gonna. Well, I, I heard they're in the works. The, uh, yesterday, Trump gave them the okay to do it. Mm -hmm. So they'll make money off of that too, because they're gonna be selling it to Trump and the administration. He said that if at, you at, have at, the at mask a good, at a good price, it ain't like 
they're gonna be making it and just yeah it or no 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 yeah they're gonna do it at the regular price but um he said if you're just like a regular hoarder call the call the uh white house and and they'll make a deal with you yeah to like a uh like a wholesaler mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they'll make the deal with you if you got a storage room or a warehouse full of masks and shit like that that you know you, you didn't have for years like all them people in, in California from the fashion district and shit like that that sell certain yeah. shit to certain people, they, they, they got they got a lot of that shit. They got a lot of it. Mm. They got a lot of it. Oh. Yeah, they gotta get it. They gotta get a bill passed and, and get and get some of these Americans some money, man, because these young boys is gonna be out here run, running the stores. Kicking people Looting. doors and shit soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I went to the gun store not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. To get bullets and stuff like that. And that store was out of bullets. It was every type of person in there buying buying that shit up. So I know they strapped. So it's it's gonna get crazy out here. Yeah. And like they were saying at on the pop Joe Budden podcast. You're really hurting yourself because you don't know who's behind that door. Mm-hmm. And you know what I think that they do? They usually go to people that they know. That too. Like, oh, you know, that's so and so's mom. She, she not strapped. She not this. She not that. You think like that? Yeah. Because they know who's behind the who's behind the door. But yeah, that shit gets scary. How do you feel about this whole Cardi B thing? She's saying that celebrities are getting paid like tummy tummy tea. <laughs> Cardi B looking for uh, notoriety. I, I think Cardi B trying to get know, trying to get some money. You can, I can't. Uh, Listen to half the shit she said, or even understand half the shit she said. So, Cardi B just she just she get online, get all dressed up, wasting makeup to talk crazy with the with them long ass, good ass nails. I don't think that. Oh, I know they look. Oh my oh, gosh, they look like cloth, like literally cloths. I don't think that um, Idris and Tom Hanks, who are very like well off and their money is so long, is gonna sit there and. For a couple thousand dollars to say they have the coronavirus. Right. Like, Tommy T is like, what? How much do you think them girls make? I don't know. Three, four thousand dollars a month. Okay. You think that them men are worried about... Now, if it was um, NBA young boy, shit, even Cardi. I could see them, you know, trying to get a little ten thousand dollar check. Imagine, no, think about... That's not even that, though, Carmen. Imagine you saying no to it, right? Now you're a liability to the public because you can tell them, hey, they they want to pay me to say I got something. Yeah. So that's that's beyond. And unreal. they wouldn't. Yeah, they that's wouldn't unreal. sit there. Like, yeah. Cardi retarded. She was just watching some YouTube channel. What people in her circle trying to give her that type of information? Hmm. And you know what it be, Tommy? Too. I will say, you start watching stuff and start believing like conspiracies and stuff like that. Like people are right now, they're saying. Ain't it crazy how they but the, the coronavirus is happening right now? Well, um, it's twenty twenty right after New Year. Like, even even if even if any any conspiracy, right? What can you do about it? Yeah, or yeah, true. <laughs> what, what can we? How can we stop it? It's just bigger bigger than America and, and the, the middle class and lower class and the rich. Yeah, even the rich. Yeah. Mm. I could understand if they had like a certain spot that they can go and mingle. But now it's like, this is running the world. Like these celebrities can't travel. They can't film their movies. They can't, mm -mm. the box, the movie box offices are doing terrible. It, it, I don't know how they're going to keep the movie, movie uh, theater up. Shit, everything's just on pause. Everything's just going to be like a student loan. All right. When we get back up, all right, this is what, this is what you owe us. Then we're gonna put whatever we can on the back end, mm -hmm. just like the letter we got for our mortgage. They're just gonna stand the, the, the years of it, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. when you stand in this house for 40, 30, 40 years, so I'm not even tripping. Mm -hmm. I'm not even tripping. How y'all feeling about it? I mean, are you? Have you guys spoke to your like mortgage or? There's a lot of people that are renting too. Like, are y'all speaking to the the rent the um? Landlord. No, but not the landlord, Tommy. Imagine the people that are in apartments. Like, they probably got I, some around. people have told me like they're they haven't sent them nothing. Like they have to pay. But I think there's an ordinance where you can't get you can't get put out. No, you can't know. get put out. So there's nothing to stress about that. I would just hate.
for people to, um, I would just hate for them to like have to owe that later or it messes no, what up their credit. Is once, once we all get back to work and they cleared it free to work, right? They're going to give, they're, they're going to make a, this is my thoughts. I, I, obviously, we've never been through this, but it, it just makes sense to me. Once it, once everything is free and clear, schools is open and NBA is back up, because that's the number one thing to me is the NBA, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to give us at least 60 to 90 days to make your first payment. Then we just start living life again. Uh -huh. But then there's going to be a lot of people who lost their job and that job ain't hiring them back because, one, this coronavirus showed us a lot about our books. We don't need you no more. That's yeah. another thing. Mm -hmm. This is going to show a lot of things. It's going to show a lot about these companies, and it's, it's going to show its ugly face. If you're done, baby, you can put it over there for later. Yeah, y'all, I mean, every day is something new, like we're finding out. Every day is something new that's going on um, in this world, but I advise you guys to... You know, continue spending time with your family. Don't stress. Um, all of this is going to pass. Um, I even heard the 401k uh, um, stocks are going down, y'all. Like, if you want, if you need to get that money out, get it out. But I think at the same time, you uh, there's a penalty fee with that too. So, I don't know. I know my dad said he was talking about getting it out. I don't know if he did yet. I don't know. Y'all, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna we gonna all be okay. Um I, I honestly think that it's good. This is a reboot for America too. But imagine the 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 businesses like the restaurants that just started off and stuff, like yeah. man. They're gonna be giving a lot of discounts to get people back in once we get back up. Cars is gonna be cheap, houses is gonna be cheap, it's gonna be a lot that's gonna be twenty four hour happy hours. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> They gonna they gonna they gotta have some type of incentive for, to get people back in their business. It ain't just oh yeah we open all right come back. I think people are still gonna be drinking regardless. I'm just talking about restaurants, food. And oh stuff restaurants, like that. yeah, like, yeah. You know mm -hmm. your money's still gonna be low, but shit, mm -hmm. I can go to uh what Boiling mm -hmm. Craft for fifteen bucks. You know what I'm saying, little shit like that. Oh yeah, I would love that. Hot and juicy. Mmm. I, I I got a video too that I'm gonna add on there. How it look, y'all. This is oh my gosh. This this was good, huh, babe? This yep. is a good idea. Mm -hmm. This got to be a staple in our home. Yeah, that um that lobster was nice with it too. I got some more spread it out, but I'm getting pretty full, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm in MIA, um, just taking care of the household and you know haven't really been trying to go to the grocery stores like that too because we was there today and I felt like I had to sanitize everything. But I will say that the uh, the workers are doing an amazing job. Albertsons now has like a glass. Um, shelf. yeah, like a, a glass shelf that like, you cannot have no, like you cannot, you know how people be talking and th that little bit of spit right there comes out. Albertsons ain't playing, but Smith didn't have that. And I'm pretty sure Walmart doesn't, but yeah, y'all, they, they're wiping everything down. They're wiping the, um, the, um, the carts, everything y'all. So I, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of that. And it made me feel a little bit better because I'm kind of a germ freak. Me and Tommy are germ freaks. He even had a glove because he knew we had to go put gas in the car. I mean, wow, that's that was that's pretty thoughtful. Anyways, y'all, I'm full. It's Monday. It's a new week. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, productive week. I'm gonna start gardening out there. Maybe I'll vlog that too. We'll see. I'm trying to make lemon and limes. So we don't gotta keep buying it. Cause Albertsons is uh waxing for that. Uh it was two for a dollar, Tommy. And when we went to La Bonita, it was like what? Like 99 cents a pound a pound? <laughs> yeah, so they waxing over there. So we, we don't have to figure something out. I would like to make basil too. All right, y'all, well, I'm out. Please like, please subscribe, share with your friends, family, leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to eat next. And um, we're gonna sign out here. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.